Hi friends, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Alex and let's get into the video. So today in this video, we, we are going to discuss about the things that we must take care while we are infected and get quarantined by Omicron virus. In this situation, now I will explain the latest symptoms of this Omicron COVID. Also, I will explain the things that must be taken care by the patients who are uh, doing home isolation uh, due to infected by Omicron virus. So the maximum number of symptoms are observed in the uh, Omicron patients just above their neck. So the main symptoms observed are fever, headache, uh, nasal discharge and pain in the region of sinuses. They may also have severe throat pain and also uh, during the examination you can see the red color of the throat and also sometimes you will observe uh, pus in the region of throat. So these are the main symptoms of Omicron. Only in very few people it can lead to some other complications and cough etc. There will be no severe uh, oxygen depletion or uh, complications of the lungs are observed in this Omicron like in previous uh, cases of COVID. Therefore, 99% of the people who are infected by Omicron virus can be uh, treated under the home isolation. The things to be taken care by these patients in the home are Most importantly, the patients who are infected by Omicron make sure to stay inside a room and also uh, avoid mingling with other members of the family because it can badly affect the elderly people and also the people who having uh, some other diseases. It can also affect the people who having stroke, uh, heart diseases, organ transplantation, etc. Because in such people with decreased immunity, once affected with COVID infection, they can end up in severe complications. The Omicron patients who are staying at the home must consume uh, food with balanced diet. In this condition, they may avoid bakery products as well because it contains a uh, large quantity of trans fat. And it's better to eat uh, home cooked simple food. We should daily eat sufficient amount of proteins and carbohydrates required for our body. And we must take rest sufficiently. And there will be no insomnia or sleeplessness is observed in this infection like that of uh, previous first and second wave of COVID. Therefore, you can get a sufficient amount of sleep and rest during this time. If you have throat pain or nasal blockage, you can drink sufficient amount of hot water. Steam inhalation can be also useful. During steam inhalation, you can add a little amount of salt or turmeric into a 2 cup of water and inhale slowly. This helps to get rid of a pus in the sinuses. Some Omicron patients complain about severe throat pain uh, in the morning after waking up. If you feel such throat pain, you can uh, gargle with salt water uh, two to three times a day. And this, way, this can kill uh, microorganisms present into, into your throat and clear your throat. Also, once you know that you have COVID infection, isolate yourself into a room which contains separate bathroom and toilet. Other members of the family must uh, try to avoid entering into the, that room as much as possible. Keeping the windows of the room open so that uh, there will be sufficient amount of oxygen will be present in the room all the time. You must always keep a separate plate and glass for your personal use. The family members provide food from outside and do not allow them to enter into the room. You can eat your food and clean your vessels uh, with soap and water. While staying in the room, uh, try to use mask as much as possible and do not uh, contact with elderly people and children in the family. Wash your hands with soap and water uh, regularly at least once in two hours. So this may help in uh, preventing the spreading of the infection to other members of the family. Similarly, do not throw the used mask outside immediately. You can keep them in a bag for around 72 hours and after that you can dispose them. Now let's discuss about the medications. You can safely intake fever medications in the home. Also, you can consult your regular uh, doctor through a uh, phone and uh, seek necessary advice. 
never never buy antibiotics or anti allergenic steroids or uh, some painkillers from the medical stores without any prescription it is dangerous because omicron infection does not require any uh, serious medicines to treat it can be cured by uh, some simple medicines that is prescribed by your doctor not only that the chances of lungs complications are not observed in this omicron like in the previous cases therefore there is there is no need of such uh, panic and you can safely stay at the home to know the disease is worsening in patient at home you must check your ox oxygen saturation using pulse oximeter if the oxygen level goes below 95 you can lie on your stomach and keep a pillow on your chest and after that you can take deep breath and hold it for 5 seconds and after that exhale slowly in an 8 second in when you repeat this for a while your oxygen saturation level will increase if the oxygen level goes below 92 you must immediately contact a health worker and try to shift it to the hospital also after initial stage of fever your pulse if your pulse is uh, increased and more than 120 and stays for long time this may be a symptom of worsening of the condition similarly the breathing rate in a normal person is 14 to 16 per minute if it increases to 25 times per minute and you breathe very fast and you have some pain in the region of the chest this might be a symptom of uh, worsening of the condition so you must consult a doctor immediately in the absence of any of these symptoms you don't need any medical assistance now 7 day quarantine is insisted for the patients uh, after they got tested positive after that they can uh, go out so these are the main informations that all uh, omicron infected patients must need to know i hope that you guys found some useful information from this video and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family and before you leave uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, hit that bell icon so that whenever i upload a video it will notify you we will see you in the next video take care and stay tuned goodbye